it's time for another scene world unboxing another package from Cytronic Software and the Binary Zone Retro, Sto Retro Store so let's have a look inside we have Mayhem in Lost Land 25th Anniversary Edition so I'll pause and unwrap the box show you what's inside So inside the box we have the game itself and two fantastic posters, the Mayhem in Monsterland advert. This game has been certified too cute. And fabulous double sided poster showing each level in both happy and sad modes. So, onto the box. Great side art. Name in Monsterland 25th Anniversary Edition. And onto the back. From the makers of Creatures and Creatures 2 comes probably the greatest platform game ever created for the C64. Mayhem in Monsterland is an intriguing blend of fast frantic platform action with five wickedly cute levels to explore. As you can see, with uh, Happy and Sad, that effectively becomes 10 levels. Featuring the cutest dinosaur ever to emerge from the Jurassic period, you'll soon forget all about Italian plumbers and spiky blue hedgehogs. Come on a format, awarded the game 100% and it's a corker. Stonking game by absolutely anybody's standards. And Commodore Force gave it a hurricane hit. 97% the best looking C64 game ever. You can see this is the 25th anniversary edition in association with Infinite Lives. The yeah, Roland Brothers Development Company screenshots in the Commodore 64 version. As the poster rolls up, out of the way, I shake the box gently. So inside we find a packet of Milky Way Magic Stars, a reference to the in-game collectible stars. My 15th anniversary edition also has a pack of these in them. And they're probably not edible anymore. We have a gorgeous Mayhem pin badge. Final sticker. Lots more little stickers there. The user manual, showing all the important bonuses, especially the charge, lightning bolt, credits, double-sided art card, the disc, another badge. Mayhem T Ring and finally the CD soundtrack. Now it includes all the music from Mayhem, bonus music from Cyberdown Warrior, Retrograde, Creatures and Creatures 2, and some of the classic music demo music. So once again, another packed Cytronic Special Edition with lots of great goodies in the box. I'm going to include some gameplay footage for those not familiar with Mayhem. There can't be many of those. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Uh, keep watching the Scene World channel. Welcome to this video of the intro to Mayhem in Monsterland. Most people know about 
John and Steve Rowland, but uh, an important part of the Mayhem team was Andy Roberts. Who are being come up on its Game Busters. Do like the uh, Mayhem TV logo in the style of MTV. <laughs> to style Apex Computer Productions. And then it introduces each of the creatures in turn. Special design scrolling pictures. In the style of a classic Roadrunner. So now we look at the menu and gameplay of Mayhem in Monsterland. This is the 25th anniversary edition. Which includes a special intro menu of the 15th anniversary edition by Cytronic. We can choose between the game and intro. And on side two of this, there is also music demos, music demos that first appeared on Commodore format. So now we're going to load the game. In watching the video, you'll also see the intro footage. So the game is loading in now from the disk image you can buy a digital download from Cytronic 
and as mentioned in the intro this is the fixed version so the patch has been put in the bug meant that if you collected more than 10 lives the counter showed more than 10 but when it dropped back under 10 unfortunately it was game over it thought it was zero so here is the tile screen which scrolls through Jellyland showing you some of the background graphics of Happy Mode and the tile tune inspired by the theme tune from Tiny Toons Adventures so you can see the title logo there it's all done with sprites with some kind of colour cycling So, stage one Jelland status. So, so each level in Mayhem in Monsterland in Monsterland starts out sad. Mayhem has to collect a number of bags of magic dust and take them to Theosaurus to turn Monsterland happy again. So you have to find the enemies that have the magic dust. There's the bag. Mayhem can also drop down through certain platforms by pressing down and fire. There are also hidden platforms where you can drop through a gap. And I realise I should have muted my phone before starting this video, but I don't know how much that sounds coming out. Anyway, if you trigger a magic door, it gives you an extra half-life. Mayhem can take two hits. You see there's an area there with some hidden bonuses, which we'll see in happy mode. Trigger the door. If you lose life, that's where you'll restart. So now we have to go back to the level to the far side. Now you'll notice at the moment Mayhem isn't moving very fast, all this is wonderfully smooth. States power at the bottom, score on the left. In happy mode, you can find score multipliers. Number of magic bags left to collect, which changes to the number of stars. In happy mode, so okay, let's hit there. Time remaining, it's bonus how much time we have left. And the number of lives. It's currently flashing blue because I've taken a hit. Going through the door there restores that hit. And you can see there's more to level this way. Some enemies shoot stars at you. Which you do best to avoid. That's a tricky jump up there. It's not as tricky in you know. happy mode. I love the thunder and lightning effects in the background as we play the sad levels. Drop on this one and I think I'll go back and fall off the platform. So as I say you now go back in to the door and that's how it changes height where my hand appears. I'm going to duck under that star and now we can drop through this checkered platform here we go into an underground cave and with the animation we can drop down to Fio's cave. Cute sound effect. Here, take this. Well done, Mayhem. You have collected enough magic dust for me to spread across Jellyland. I can now make it a happy place once more. We're Jellyland, the first of five levels. And once Fio turns it happy. The objective changes. Now instead of collecting magic dust, you have to look for stars. Now, there's an extra life behind that enemy. Go back this way. You 
you can see the shading effect there on that platform. It means you can drop down. And there's another hidden bonus there, let's continue. Two bunny increases the score multiply. Bunnies multiply. And now the most important power up in the game the charge. So holding fire and pressing charge is through. Giant star is worth 10. If you push the opposite direction, you skid to a halt. And you'll see later in the video there is a skid bonus. Crossing the finish line. So you might need to press fire and move faster sideways to get those higher stars. Maybe coming back this way, but I do like to collect stars as I see them. This enemy here is tricky because you can't jump over him, you have to charge him effectively. See to the left here, there's a hidden area. There's another continue there. And there's the jump back. Fortunately, it's not far to the door. So we'll charge. Enemies. Notice that enemies respawn, but bonuses that you behind them do not respawn. You have to be careful, particularly with the multiplier. If you time it right and have the multiplier active at the end of the level, you multiply the final bonus. And there's a good example there. Half-life there. There's a good example there of the colour mixing on the knees. Again, you can drop down here. It's another half-life. Don't need to collect that one then. Parallax scrolling in the background behind. Big star by 10. Hidden in that area. This is the bonus area. I was talking about earlier, you can drop down and fall off if you're not careful. I hadn't triggered the other one. And I'm going to go through this and you see the speed. I can't scroll through. Eight levels every fiftieth of a second. Skip down. This time I'm going to go more cautiously, pick up. gradually decreases over time. So let's try and pick up this extra line again. With lots of cute touches, the way Mayhem holds his head. Looks down. And he goes to the edge of the platform. Cautiously this time as you go back. I do like as well. The enemy explosion turns into stars. Shattered into lots of stars. Although that was going to speed through that mini. Try back through, trigger that gate, and I'll restart that point. Star bonus for collecting every star on the level. 
the star count includes the big stars. This is a tricky jump. To get to the left, speed and jump. That's it. Oh, took a hit there. Got it back. Blue heart. Half life. Red heart. Extra life. Rainbow heart. Which you don't see very often is the continue. run into him. And I've got less than 40 stars left to collect. So we're getting close, we're getting close to the finish line. So you have to jump and press fire there to, to speed across. This is another clever enemy here. Kills up the cloud, but you have to time it right. on the level. I'll trigger that ball. It's handy to do. And the finish. We'll go past the finish line. Now I've got a times five multiplier. Hopefully I can time it adds extra time. And I've fallen off. Which is a real shame. It resets my Bonus multiplier as well. Okay. As you can see, it's been a while since we've played this. So we'll judge over the finish line and skid for a bonus. Stage complete, time bonus is added on. Multiply is he, he multiplies score and extra lives. So added a life for superstar bonus for the times five multiply you have you'd get five lives. So it's loading the second level pipeland. So once again pipeland will start in sad mode. Eleven bags of dust to collect. You can still charge. I'll pick up and bag my So that sh shows you gameplay from Mayhem and Lost Land. <laughs> 